Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to review the Coach Swing Zip Bag and tell you also what fits inside. This bag does not come with a crossbody strap. It is just a shoulder bag, but as you can see, it is quite a long strap and it is actually adjustable as well. So you can see here, it's adjustable. So this is how it looks with all the charms. So these are from Coach. The charms are from Coach. This is their like multi T rose charm. I really like that it comes in this gunmetal or pewter hardware because it kind of goes with, it can go with anything. It kind of just blends in. And I think it's so pretty. I love their T rose like little charms. This one is the um, bag extender charm or charm bag extender i'm not sure what it's called exactly but it's really really pretty and it has like all these little charms little cherry of course it has the coach hang tag which comes with the bag i did not get it monogrammed or anything and then this little brown ribbon is actually from one of my coach boxes like the gift boxes that it comes in um for an accessory so i just thought it was really cute and it was really long so i cut it I cut it a little bit but I thought it was cute to add as like a little charm and if you're familiar with like the Jane Birkin bags they she always like puts like ribbons on there and like laces and stuff maybe I'll put a photo in there somewhere so you have a understanding of what I'm talking about but I love Jane Birkifying my bags I just feel like it's totally my aesthetic to make it look like there's a lot going on um but yeah so this bag this bag is actually a reissue i guess you could call it or a reimagination they as they call it of the 1998 swing bag i don't know if it was actually called the swing bag but i think it's like the disco swing or something like that so it is a 90s bag and it definitely has that look and that's what appealed to me is that i love how vintage this looks and it is made of it is made of a original glove tanned leather so it is a very soft leather and i love that it has feet it's so cute i don't think the original vintage piece had feet but this one does have feet and by the way so because there is no like hook for this bag the way that I um, added the charms is that you can unbuckle the um, straps and then you can weave the keychains through so that is how you can add the charms you can also try and add it here like in this little groove but it's kind of small and thin so that's how i like to add it i think it's the perfect bag like for every day for me anyway it's not too big it's not too small and it definitely fits a lot and one of my favorite features of this bag is that it is just like a structured like hole that you can just put like whatever in you can put a pouch in there and organize it or you can just throw everything in let me take some of my actual stuff out this is the bag i've been using the most recently but i can show you guys what the inside looks like so the inside looks like that Hopefully you guys can see it it is really dark obviously because it's black interior um but the inside is basically um is leather so it feels really nice and buttery and soft and so you have this high quality leather on the outside and you have the high quality leather on the inside. So this is why I feel like if you are looking for kind of an investment bag from Coach, I would definitely look towards the Swing Zip or any of their bags that are leather on the outside and leather on the inside because that is going to last a very long time and you can already tell from feeling this bag that it's going to last a long time so even though it is a re-imagination of a vintage bag i see this bag lasting for years and i definitely see it becoming like an heirloom if you have kids i don't have kids but if you do have like a daughter or a son you know like whoever if they end up liking bags um 
this will definitely be an heirloom piece like it will last it definitely will this glove tan leather material is just very sturdy and very nice yes it's gonna have like some scratches and i can already see a little bit of scratching here and there i don't know if the camera will pick it up but um it's just the it's a smooth leather so it's just something that's gonna happen but i personally don't care about scratches like to me it's a bag that i paid hundreds of dollars for and it's gonna get used you know um so it is great and it just has a little card pocket in the back here and on the other side it has a zipper compartment and i actually have my and the inside compartment is um canvas so i just have like a little glasses cleaner in there so it's easy to retrieve so i like this canvas so you can add stuff like pads or like feminine like stuff um and I love this story patch, so I'm going to actually read it out loud. So it says, this is a coach bag crafted to last. This reimagination of our classic swing zip bag. Oh, I guess it's, that's what it's called. From 1998 was too good to leave in the archives. Um, what does the end part say? Um, second times the charm. Oh, second times the charm is what it says. So yeah, this is definitely a statement, or not a statement. This is definitely a um, bag that's going to last you, which is why I invested in other colors as well. I don't think that it will sell out. I do think it'll probably become a somewhat staple like the tabby, but I don't think it will... I don't think all the colors are going to be in rotation, if that makes sense. Just from like the history of how Coach releases their bag from what i've seen um usually they'll keep things like white the ivory the chalk the chalk colored which is white um and the black ones so if you are on the market for the hunter green or the pistachio green i would definitely try and pick it up you know sometime this year because those like different colored bags from coach i feel like are the ones that sell out and are hard to restock but you'll probably find the black or the white one for a while at least i think so just because this is such a great bag and it's really neutral again there's no logos or anything um but yeah this is so perfect now i'll show you guys what fits in my bag so first we have my wallet it's gonna probably take up a lot of room but i can put it in vertically or I can put it in horizontally. I have this little pouch with like band-aids and some miscellaneous things so I'm gonna put that in there. I have a compact. I have this little sticker camera thing. Um, basically like it takes like instant photos and they print out little stickers so this one's really cute when you're like going to somewhere where you want a scrapbook so I like to take this camera. I have some tissues. I always need tissues, so I'm gonna put them in there. I have some hand sanitizer. I have some hair spray, or hair, hair perfume rather. I have some SPF. I always have like UV sunscreen with me, even if it's winter. I have this little coin pouch, which I actually usually put my AirPods in. Coin pouch. I actually usually use this as my AirPods holder, although it does have something in there. So it fits my AirPods really well. And sometimes I will actually add it to my bag. So it's just like a charm because it has like the little clasp, but I'm just gonna put it in like that. I have a little chapstick here. I have my little brush, my wooden brush. And then, believe it or not, I still have some room. So I have my sunglasses here, but it is starting to get like cold. Um, like the weather is starting to get cold and stuff. So I might not need this all the time, but I can show you guys that it, even my sunglasses fit 
and it in it closes. So it doesn't close very nicely, like it's a little bit bent out of shape, but I just wanted to show you guys it does close. So you know that it can carry a lot. We're gonna take it out because I just don't need my sunglasses as much right now, but instead I'm going to, instead I'm gonna add a pen. I have this little pill case here, so I'm gonna add this as well. I'm gonna add this little Tatcha face blotting thing. And I'm gonna put it in the back just cause it's really thin. I have a key holder here. So that is everything in the bag. As you can see, it is just like an open hole, but it's structured. So it's really nice. And then it just zips up so nicely. How nice is that? And there she is. So it fits a lot of stuff, like a lot. Um, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this helped. I really do think that this is one of the best releases Coach has had in a long time. I've been trying to rebuild my collection and um, sell a lot of my old bags that I just never really used. So yeah, I've been like redoing my collection and I've been trying to be a little bit more practical with my purchases too, like just trying to rebuild my bag collection to like stuff that I know I'm gonna use all year round. So between this one and my Lana 23, I feel like these are two of my favorite bags like from coach that i will use all year round i mean this bag is so pretty this ivory color is so much better in person you really have to go see it in store and these two i just feel like are really good everyday bags together so yeah thanks for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next one bye